Hi guys and welcome back. It's another video for junk journaling and today I am working on my fairy dreams journal. So we have the journal cover done and we have our signatures sewn in and like I had mentioned on the last video um, for the papers um, I did the uh, fairy dreams junk journal kit from Liana scrap and um, that I also bought the um, ephemera kit to go with it so there's a few pockets and stuff we might play with uh, so today yeah what we need to do is make some ephemera for these pages so I've what I've done is um, oh I was gonna tell you guys who these uh, digitals are from let me just see if I can find that on my computer um, <laughs> I had that as um hmm I might have to yeah I'll have to try and find that guys sorry I was going to try and do that beforehand um and I just can't remember who it was sorry I'm just kind of looking on my computer here no nope, can't can't see it off the top of my head here so um I'll try and link that down below um so yeah they're just some pretty colored um digitals that I just printed on the back of the, the kit and then I've got like I said some um, graph paper that's coffee dyed um, added some lace to the pages just to give a bit of interest I just think it looks so pretty um, again I have some pages that my daughter uh, dyed with some distress stain and some watercolors um, she did a really good job she's only 10 so I'm kind of impressed um, then what else do I have in here? Oh yeah, I have some ledger paper that I coffee dyed and put in there. And then on the other side of that, let's see if I can flip to the other side. Um, to do, where is it here? Well, I'm way in the wrong signature, that's why. Um, and then so I just folded it over to create like a little flip here. I'm, I could make this into a pocket. Or I could just um, leave it as a little flip out. I'm not sure what I'm going to do. But yeah, so we're going to go ahead and work on some ephemera for this. I've got some doilies. This one I didn't realize. I actually had two doilies stuck together. But that's okay. It kind of is fun. Kind of is cute. We'll do something with it. So let's get started. I have um, a little window envelope that I made that I worked on. And I made a little journaling card just with some pieces from this little uh, sentiment piece here is from the Leona Scrap um, Fairy Dream Junk Journal kit add-on. Um, so that came with um, some little sayings here, which is super cute. Uh, we've got some little journaling cards and pockets that we can play with. We've got some kind of like little uh, tape pieces um, so yeah that's where I cut this one out of um, some more journaling cards so yeah there's lots to play with and then we're just gonna kind of create some of our own things as well I have a whole bunch of items that I printed off um, from Etsy as well as just from Pinterest so we've got a lot to work with oh I've got this kit here from uh, ginger ginger journals at Etsy um, some vintage fairy stuff so that should be fun to play with as well so let's just play around and make some tags I pulled out um, sorry some tags and things <laughs> I pulled out just kind of some scrap things that I had um, and maybe we could work with so I have a guest check here that is coffee dyed I have a time card that we can probably grunge up and make into a tag um, this is just a piece that I had left over from making a card. Um, I die cut this out, uh, an oval out of a card for something, and so I saved this. Maybe we can make something out of that. And then I have a vintage uh, bingo card that we can make into a journaling card. So why don't we start with a bingo card? And we'll just see what we have here. Oh, these are super cute. Maybe we can use one of these images on there. Kind of like this one here. 
so I hope you guys are doing well. I want to thank all of my new subscribers and those of you who have commented on um, my videos. I really appreciate it. Um, it's nice to know that um, there's people on the other end. It's, it's hard to talk to yourself. <laughs> And um, I like to have interaction with my with my viewers and see how you guys are doing and what you're up to and so I'm just fussy tearing this here yeah so like I said leave me a comment down below let me know what you're working on um, yeah if you have any ideas for what you'd like to see for one of my next journals or what you'd like to see in general or just say hi that's always nice too Okay, so just fussy tearing this out. I'm not the best fussy tearer, but we'll kind of make it work here. Just kind of, as long as you get the piece of paper in between your your thumbs there, I think you can kind of kind of guide it where you want to rip. But I don't know, I always find the tips of my fingers get sore. That's probably because I'm like jamming my nails into the tip of my finger when I'm doing this, but. So just get this ripped around. And then I have this straight edge. I don't really like that. Let's see if I can just pull off enough. There we go. Okay, so now I need to ink this up because I just like the look of it better when it's inked and this is pretty pretty stark white against there. I don't really want that, so. So yeah, it's been kind of a, another crazy week in, in the life of Shala. <laughs> we had my son's 13th birthday yesterday and kind of had like almost like a little impromptu get together. My daughter had a friend over and then the neighbors, um, neighbor kids across the street, uh, they're the same age as my son and in his class. So they came over and we had some pizza and some cake and it was just really nice. So, and then I think my son's going to get together with some of his other friends. Um, they have tomorrow and Friday off. So I think they'll get together and go to a movie and there's a group of them that have birthdays kind of all within a couple weeks of each other so that'll be fun for them. Okay so I really like that. I think I might want some dictionary page behind there. Let's see what I have in my old scrap pile. Let's tear some of this. This paper is so fragile. See if we like the look of that. Have a, some of that behind there. Um, kind of want some color too. I have this piece that's just kind of sitting here. I wonder if we just rip a piece of this. And I don't want any straight edges. Ink this up. Boy, oh boy, the past couple days the weather sure has turned cooler here. I have to wear my big warm jacket when I go outside now. I'm just so not ready for for winter. I like the I like the warmer weather. And I just I don't I don't do well with cold weather. I think I've mentioned it before, I should have been born in some tropical country. Oh, if I could go back to Costa Rica, my husband and I went there. We actually went there um, right before, actually I found out I was pregnant with, with our first son. And uh, we were leaving in a couple days to go to Costa Rica. And so I told my husband when we landed, I rode it in the sand. That I was pregnant and uh, yeah so that's over 13 years ago if I could go back to Costa Rica oh I would in a heartbeat in a heartbeat I would go let's see now you just kind of play around collage is a funny thing 
find it to be a funny thing. It's uh, There's no rules really with collage and you just have to play around with the layout to see what you like. Let's have uh, some lace on my desk. Mm, so we want some lace on there. I don't know how we would put it. I'm always amazed at at the um, collagers out there. Like I watch, I watch my favorites as well. I watch uh, Gail Gastinelli, Forty Nine Dragonflies, Shabby Dabby Doo Da. Um, who else do I watch? Um, Tina from hmm, what's her name? <laughs> I can't think off the top of my head. Sorry, it's been a long day. Um, and I'm just amazed at how they just kind of put things together, and it just looks like magic. And I feel like I put things together, and it looks bleh. <laughs> Or rubbish, as they would say. Um, I do want some lace. Let me just check in my little lace container that I have on my floor. I have some kind of darker ones. Oh, now I'm just throwing it all over the place. Um, some brown, maybe. This as well. Let's just take a look and see if see if any of this strikes our fancy. Mm -hmm. Maybe we could put that back there. I don't know if you guys have a method. Do you have a method for collaging, or do you just kind of go with what feels right? Um, not really in love with that. See, this is where it would be really handy if we could hear you guys. So you could say, oh yeah, that looks great, or no, no, don't do that. <laughs> that does not look good. Hmm. Well, why not? What does it hurt to add a little bit of lace? Okay, now how do we want to do this? Now this is where you got to get the layering done, right? So I'm going to put that down first, then this. Okay, so there's that. Where do I want to have the lace? Over top, like so. <laughs> okay, well... Let's see, let's do, let's do it this way. So I probably will not get it laying down exactly the way it was before, but c'est la vie. It'll go down the way it's supposed to go down, I guess. Okay, I have to be really careful gluing this piece because it is so fragile and brittle. Okay, so we had this kind of over here-ish. I love these vintage bingo cards. I got them from that house of that lady who, like her house literally is like a, um, like a, uh, oh my gosh, what's the word? A little vintage museum. She's got stuff in every room. She had one room that was literally dedicated to like laces and fabric and she had the bingo cards and she just had them all arranged. There was buttons and what have you and um, you know she did a good job arranging it. She had everything kind of color coordinated in there but it was also really kind of kind of odd at the same time to go into someone's house to kind of shop for vintage things, right? <laughs> but, but I did and picked up some little golden books to work on and yeah, some other happy little finds, which was good. But yeah, it's always, always a little nerve wracking when you go into someone's house that you don't know. You're like, oh, I hope I'm going to come out alive. 
<laughs> just yeah I'm pretty silly like that I actually uh, um, went to go pick up some moving boxes for a girlfriend of mine her parents are moving and um, so I did that right before I I made this video and because um, my girlfriend lives all the way in the north end of the city and I'm in the south and um, these boxes that she wanted were was just one community over so it wasn't wasn't far from me but I'm always really hesitant like when you find like stuff off of marketplace and you know like Kijiji or whatever I'm always nervous going to those houses to pick up things like especially alone like I just and of course it's now dark outside like at four o'clock in the afternoon so when I went it was pretty dark and yeah just um just a little I'm a fraidy cat <laughs> that's really what it is I just I don't I don't like going to people's houses that I don't know so uh, it's gonna tease my girlfriend if anything happened I was gonna text her I'm like oh you're putting my life in danger for moving boxes <laughs> but that's okay I don't mind doing it I just think it's funny Okay, so there's that. There's that one, and then we can do some journaling on the back. I think that's cute. We'll just ink up the edges, of course, of course. There we go. And I am so close. I am days away now from the elusive Christmas craft fair that's been keeping me, well, one, busy, but um, I got stuff everywhere in my craft room trying to figure out what I'm going to take, and yeah, it's just just a mess. So that's cute. We'll add that to our little, little pocket that we have, our envelope pocket, and then our journaling card. All right. Sounds like kids are gonna have a friend over okay so what do we want to work on next let's do let's do this little guest check kind of same thing we'll just layer some pieces up maybe we want it's kind of looking at these these are so cute Maybe we want this red one to go with this. She's got a little bumblebee. Oh, that would be good for the bee journal. I want to do a bee journal. I'm itching to do it. But I gotta fi finish all the other projects I got on the go first. Yeah, are you guys like that? Do you have like a million projects on the go? And none of them really finished? <laughs> Come on, tell me you do. Make me feel better about myself. I have a, a corner to corner crochet blanket on the go is for a while now. It's a Fortnite blanket <laughs> and I really need to get that done. It's going to be super cute when it's done, but corner to corner blankets just, they take some time. The old C2C blankets are a bit time consuming. And then to follow a pattern, because of course, it says like Fortnite on it and like you gotta crochet it so it makes the words and the pictures, right? Oh, it's called a graph gan. So I really need to pull that out and finish working on it. Get some of my to do things to done <laughs> is what I need to do. Uh, Alright, there's my little inker, inker sponge. Ink around this. And then we'll see what other papers we have that can collage up with this. I don't know if I'm going to be able to I don't really need to ink this up. I think it's grungy enough with a coffee dye on it. Um, okay, I have... What do I have here? Now looking in my basket underneath my desk, I have, I got these, I think, um, where did I get these? 
I got these off of AliExpress from the antique bookstore. Just some little kind of mini mini papers. This one looks like an old old menu. Yeah, a little tea room menu. Room service. These kind of look like, yeah, all sorts of little little menus. That's kind of cute. Hmm, not really what I want though. Okay. Well, let's put those back. Let's see if I can get them back in the bag. Um, I was trying to think of what papers I have. Uh, let me just check my stash. A big, big little, a big little. Um, I have a big kind of bucket here of stuff. Mm, that might be fun. All sorts of this is and that. Okay, put that on there. Is that gonna get lost though? I kinda wanna see it underneath there. Okay. Um, this is really pretty lace, but I think it's gonna be too bulky. I gotta be a bit careful with how much bulk I add to the pages because as you can see it's already kind of kind of gaping open just a little bit and the more we add in there for decorations the more alligator mouth it's going to become so just have to keep that in mind um, what else do we want have some vellum music paper. That might be fun for a little bit of interest. And I don't know how much we're going to be able to ink this because again, once you print on vellum, it gets quite brittle. Like I use a, a laser printer, so kind of makes it a little bit brittle. I don't know how well a inkjet printer would work on vellum. I feel like it would take a while to dry and then it would smear. So that's why I'm kind of hesitant on, on using my inkjet printer. I use my laser mostly. I really like it. It's a br brother printer. So, gotta have a good printer, especially if you're working with digitals, right? So. All right. I do have some ephemera pieces up in my Etsy store if you guys want to go check it out. I'm hoping to add more. Um, like I said, I'm just kind of really um, kind of bogged down with this craft fair right now. So I hope to get more things made and posted. I could have that. That's cute. Because that little bit of red ties in with this which ties in with the red on the guest check. Um, let's see. What if we put some lace here? How would that look? Yeah, I like that. So let's go ahead and do it. Just trim. And then now I've got all these little itty bitty, itty bitty lace pieces. Okay, let's start gluing down. We'll start with this little map piece. that one right 
right about there. And then we want our lace piece. And we've got to make sure it's right side up. Not that I can really tell myself, but let's use Fabri-Tac for this. Put it about here. Looks like I'm going to have to get some more Fabri-Tac. I fear there is a trip to the local craft store in my future. That never bodes well. I always go there for one thing and I come out with more than one thing. But I kind of do have to go there because I did want to try and find some little um, what do you call them? Um, oh my goodness, read my mind. Um, little charms, little, uh, to see if they had any little fairy charms that we could add to the, the binding string. I have to put, glob this down. Oh, this fabric tech is so sticky. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna need more. It's not sticking down. They're not enough anyways. Okay. There we go. So we're kind of getting into the time of year where we have zoo lights at our zoo here in Calgary and I want to go to zoo lights again with the family that was fun we went last year but I'm not sure if we have to book times like we did because of COVID last year you had to go online and book a time and I'm not sure if we have to do that again or if we can just go, like we're, we're members of the Calgary Zoo, we've got memberships, but um, I don't know if we have to kind of pre-book a time slot or not. All these things that we now have to think of post-COVID or in the midst of COVID that, you know, we didn't have to think about before. If we wanted to go to the zoo, we just up and went to the zoo. Now you got to book your time slot and we got a plan and I'm not a planner I'm more of a spontaneous fly by the seat of my pants kind of girl all right I think that looks good I'm gonna use um, our glitter glue for this just cuz there's a lot going on there that I don't think the uhu will will uh, take it or hold it all there we go And get this stuck down, and then we'll have another piece of ephemera done. Okay. So I just wanted to get a few pieces made that weren't from the kit. I don't want it to be too, too matchy-matchy. I want it to be kind of a little, a little more eclectic than that. Okay, this one think of what we could do with it so we could kind of just have it as like a, almost like a cameo piece or if we put it this way we could make it into a tuck spot so the first thing I'm gonna do is just grungy this up a bit <laughs> actually a lot I'm gonna change the color of it completely because it is too white for me There we go. Ta-da! A little vintage photo later. And it makes me happy. I am still looking for my Tim Holtz Pokey Tool that I somehow lost several days ago somewhere on my craft desk. Maybe there's just a few little pieces here that didn't poke out from the die cutting. There we go. 
yeah, I'm in dire need of cleaning up in this area. That is for sure. Okay, now let's look at our fairy images, 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 and see what we can come up with. So we use those. That was just some scrap paper. We got some postcards. Um, that would work well. Look at that little girl. What else? Have these peoples. Kind of looks like they just put um, butterfly wings on the back of of some vintage um, people. Kind of cute. Maybe we could use that. Put that aside. Uh, let's see. This is from Ginger Journals at Etsy. Some cute images on here. Oh, look at these. Oh, they've got some Christmas ones as well. So cute. Um, hmm. That's cute. It's all so cute. Um, nothing's really, oh, maybe that one. Okay. Let's do, I like this. So let's tear that out. Make some magic happen here. Okay. And we'll just do this. Not that we're keeping it square, but I just feel the need to tear it down to a square. I'm not sure exactly why. Um, okay, I think what I also want to do is I want to do some script stamping on the back and I need to grab a color I think I want brown so I'll just use this umbrella craft ink tanned leather I kind of like this color and this is just a stamp that I got from um, just like a scrapbooking magazine, to tell you the truth. So I'll just ink that up and kind of do some do some stamping. There we go. I think that looks cute. And we'll set that aside. And let's fussy tear again. Uh, I've got to start Christmas shopping too. Ooh. I'm struggling. I'm just struggling to wrap my head around what I am going to get my children for Christmas. They just you have everything and need nothing. You know what I mean? For my husband, I think I know what I want to do. And I can say because he doesn't watch my videos. But I think I want to get him sailing lessons. I think that would be fun. He's kind of talked about it a couple times that he'd like to, like to do that. So I think that's what I'll do for him. That's what I kind of want to do gift-wise is... Um, do experiences, you know. I'd rather spend money on experiences rather than stuff for the kids. So I think I think the sailing lessons would be a win. Okay, kind of just tearing down in between the wings and stuff, just to give it a wee bit more interest and just to make it fit a little bit better. Um, okay, I'm either going to have to lose a foot, or we're going to have to lose some wing tips. I think we can get away with 
losing the wing tips and it not being as noticeable as missing a foot. <laughs> I think the foot is push pushing it. Oh, I think that looks pretty. Yeah, I think the foot, losing the foot would be pushing it. I think I should invest in a full size vintage photo. What do you think? I bought all the little mini sizes um, just so that I could get more colors for like card making and stuff. Well, and for, for this as well. You don't always distress ink in vintage photo, but um, so yeah, I got all the minis just so I could get more colors, you know, for, for price point. And um, yeah, I just find I'm constantly refilling. I just I keep my refiller, my ink refiller out all the time just because I keep refilling this cube quite a bit. Alrighty. Now we need to glue these guys down. I don't think I'm going to add anything else because I think the text kind of elevates it. It brings it to the next level. And then even the little die cuts around this I think are enough. So I don't think we're going to do lace or anything. And Try not to lose a toe. Kind of hanging off there. Just a wee bit. There we go. It's like it never happened. Okay. There. I think that looks super pretty. Very, very Victorian looking, I think. Pretty, pretty, pretty. So we'll set that one aside. Now we're on to our last piece of ephemera, and I think this one would be fun to turn into a tag. Since we've got a couple pockets, some journaling cards, let's do this time card into a tag. I'll just cut it to look like one. There we go. And of course, let's ink up the edges while we think about what we are going to put onto here. Um, some papers here. Um, how big is this going to be? Too, too big now that I'm thinking about it. I have to remember this journal is kind of small. So if we put it in, it is going to be hanging, hanging out. So why don't we cut this down just a wee bit. Let's take it off to about this line here. Try and see if I can cut straight. I well, we can use this for something. Wouldn't want to throw any scraps out now, would we? I don't know about you guys, but it never fails when I when I'm working away and I'm like, oh, I can think I think I can let that scrap go. I throw it out and then I find myself missing it and trying to dig through my recycling to see if I can find it again. That's hardcore. You know, you have some issues when you're going through your recycling for bits of paper. Okay. Um, sorry, guys. I'm gonna ink this up. I know it's not. Not a lot of fun to watch the inking process, but it is what it is. I need it inked. <laughs> it just makes me feel better. Okay, so I've got my eyes on some papers. Be quick about this here. Um, this piece kind of sitting here. It looks like it's got some gold on it already, but ooh, maybe we could add some some gold to this as well. And I just put that away and I need to ink this. Okay, I think I want to have this on here. I can put that there. And maybe we want some music paper. What do we think about that? I have this big book of music paper. It's actually um I found it at our local thrift store. It's just a big book of clarinet paper. 
music paper. And I don't play the clarinet, so I figured it was okay. If it was a book, a violin book or piano book, then I might be uh, more inclined to keep it <laughs> for myself because I'm trying to learn violin and my husband is learning piano. I'm sure you guys probably have heard heard him playing in the background sometimes. But since it is clarinet paper and I don't play the clarinet, we should be good. I have a piece here. That might work. Got to look on both sides to see what you like better. I like all the sharps. That kind of makes me happy. And I like the number 46. That's cool. So let's do that. Let's get gluing. Because if you glue down, then you're kind of committed and you have to not overthink it at that point because you're committed. Okay. Now this does have some writing kind of in the background, so I suppose we want to make sure that is facing upwards. Okay. And then we'll get this put down. Then maybe we should think about why don't we make our own fairy out of some Tim Holtz people and some butterflies. Yes, let's do that. I know we have some images kind of printed out already like that, but I would like, since this is a nice big tag, I'd like a Tim Holtz person on it. Give it a little bit of dimension. Okay, I'm going to grab my Tim people and my butterflies one second. Yes, indeed. This will make me happy. I just need to find a person. I suppose we could might even use a boy, too. It doesn't have to be a girl. I was just thinking maybe we needed to find a girl. But nothing's saying that we can't use a boy, right? Could be boy fairies. I don't know if I'd have any wings big enough for him, though. Um, let's see. There's him. Um, oh, I kind of like her. She's got that very pretty dress. Okay, so I'm going to use her. That is what I'm going to do. And I don't want to bend any of our Timmy peoples. fight with that lid later. And let's see. Oh, I have some beautiful. These are, look at these. Um, where did I get those from? Do you not remember? Oh, that is pretty. Okay, I like that. Um, but I know some of them are actually Tim Holtz ephemera. Maybe it is these ones. Okay, is that one just a bit bigger? Oh, I think this is going to be perfect. I mean, we could use that. So there's that. Wings are just a bit big. But that. I don't know what you guys think. It's very monotone, but maybe we could have a splash of color down here. We could put a colorful tag. Okay, I think I'm liking that. Okay, let's just try auditioning a few more, just in case. Let's see, that's cute too. Oh, decisions, decisions. Hmm. Oh, I don't know what to do, you guys. 
This is a conundrum. I don't know if I should go with the pink. Or the um, acetate one. Oh, you guys. I don't know. Okay, last try. Sorry. I'm just trying to figure it out. I think I'm going to go with this one. Oh, that's a tough call because this is so pretty too with that little bit of pink on there. That looks so nice, but I kind of feel like I need to do this. Um, let's do some lace down here. Look at now I'm finally warmed up. I'm on the last, last item and I've kind of got my groove on now. Okay. So let's glue down the lace first. Um, that's my fabric tack. I actually just spied some other lace that I might like better. After I cut that. Yeah, I like this better. Let's actually put it the right way though. Okay, I like this one better. It's just got a little more substance to it. Okay, get our glue put down. I can hear my daughter just giggling away upstairs with her friend. I love the sound of children's laughter. Just oh, makes me smile. They were making a movie, I think is what she said. That's pretty cool that the kids have, you know, the technology with their iPads. They could make a movie. They were sitting, sitting there together editing it. And, you know, that's, that's pretty cool for a 10 year old to do. Maybe the new, new Steven Spielberg she'll be someday. <laughs> And we gotta figure out where oh where we want our Timmy person to sit. And just give a little bit of ink. And I think right about there. Now let's ooh, my fabric tack is oozing all over the place. Uh, let's use our glitter glue. And we'll just kind of run it where the black is. And hopefully that will hold it down enough. Okay. Like so. Hopefully that'll dry clear. And then we might as well glue down our lady with our, our glitter glue as well. There we go. And I'm just going to check my washi situation. I have a lot of washi, but none of it's like really, really good for like, I don't really, hmm, I don't like that. Let's see, the glitter, uh, this might be nice. A little bit of this down, oh, now they're screaming up there. I don't know what's going on. Do we have? Mm, have this. That might be a little, a little too big and too white. I have this kind of texty one. A little piece of that might be nice. 
if I can get it off the roll. Okay. I'll just drip down this edge. Probably should have put this down before the before the girl, but we'll see if we can kind of tuck a piece under there. There we go. This stuff does not want to rip very nicely. Okay, so get a little of that. And let's just put a little bit of this on there if we can. Hmm. I don't know which way to pull at it. Oh, there we go. Okay. Look at me using my washi tape. So proud of myself. bit of that there just to give it some color I think that looks cute and then what do we want for the topper um, let's see I'm just rummaging through my laces and ribbons this. And that doesn't go with that red at all. So, all else fails, I have this stuff. Just got this from the dollar store, but it seems to be my go-to sometimes. Because it's just a beautiful piece. I have like a little crocheted. And just kind of rip up the edges just a bit. And unfrill them or there we go. And then we can just attach this to the top. Grab my little stapler. You can use a Tim Holtz tiny attacher, or you can even do an eyelet. I am just going to use my dollar store stapler because it works just as well. Okay. And see if I can get it somewhat straight. There we go. All right, so let's take a quick look at what we have started off for our ephemera. Make sure I put the lids on all my glues so nothing dries out on us. Let's put this aside. Okay, so I had started off, sorry I just want to get rid of this washi tape. So what did we start with? Okay, so I started off, I had done these two before I started the camera. So I have this little pocket envelope where I can make a tag or a journaling card to go in there and it can go on a page. I have a journaling card here. I'm still not sure if I want to put a tab or something on it, but I'll think about that. Then we have our little oval piece here that I think I'm going to use as a tuck spot. I could do it as a top tuck. Um, even kind of like a side tuck. Anyways, I think that is super cute. Then we have our guest check. Some journaling space on the back. We have our bingo card. This is where it all started, where we were getting our mojo. That'll be a fun journaling card. And then we finished off with our little Tim Holtz person tag. I think that looks adorable. 
And yeah, so thanks so much for joining me today, guys. Um, hope you have a great rest of your day. And P.S. I love you. Hey guys, I would love to do a snail mail swap with you. So go ahead, check out my address there. Send me some of your creations. I'd love to feature them on my YouTube channel. And I'd love to send you a little something back. Let's spread the crafty love with each other. And if you haven't done so already, go ahead, hit that subscribe button. Click that notification bell. Give me a thumbs up if you like my videos. Even better, send me a comment. I'd love to know what you have to say. Thanks again, guys. And P.S. I love you.